Speaker, with the closure of Stampede Park and the indefinite postponement of the Balzac track, we are now down to one Class A horse racing track located at Northlands in Edmonton. So my questions are to the Minister of Culture and Community Spirit. What is the justification for allocating the same amount of money to horse racing Alberta when it has one-third as much racing activity as before? The Honourable Minister. Well, well, Mr. Speaker, it's, it's pretty simple. We entered in a 10-year agreement with Horse Racing Alberta. It's a legal contract, and we believe in honouring our obligations. So the Minister is telling us that even if there is no horse racing going on, because I'm told that horse races are costing Edmonton Northlands money and they would like to get out of that particular business. So is the Minister telling us that they will continue to put money into horse racing Alberta when there are no horse races going on in Alberta? The Honourable Minister. Oh, Mr. Speaker, as everybody, everybody in this uh, legislation should know that the government is undergoing the budget process right now. We have said, our Premier has said, that all things that we have in this government are on the table. We are taking a look at those in terms of spending, um, so we will take a look at that. Member. Well, um, let me make a suggestion. How about if the Minister pulls the plug and reallocates this money to some sectors that are growing, unlike horse racing, sectors like arts, culture, cultural industries, Food sport banks. or recreation? Food banks. Excellent. Okay. Yep. The Honourable Minister. I should tell the Honourable Member, Mr. Speaker, the, uh, the people from the case have already left here. Every, the Honourable Member knows full well that the money that comes through horse racing Alberta is derived out of slot revenue that is uh, located at the racetracks. It's a flow through where 15% of net proceeds are allocated to the track operators. 51.2-thirds percent of the net proceeds are returned to the horse racing industry, and they're using for breeding programs, marketing, and purse enhancement. And right now, as I said before, Mr. <laughs> Speaker, we're reevaluating. If she has any further questions, she may want to direct them to the Solicitor General. The Honourable.